Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhypermachine.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can download files in Playwright with Java and uh, how you can verify whether file has been downloaded properly or not. Whether extension is proper, does file have a content, does file is not empty or not. We are going to do all this in this video. Before we discuss download, I would also recommend you to check out how to upload files because uploading a file, downloading a file is a very generic scenario that you need in each and every project. How to upload a single file, how to upload multiple files that all we have seen in previous videos. I will be giving all this link in the description. So after this video, please check out how to upload files in Playwright 2. For this video, I will be using this application, which is by internetherokuapp.com. You can see we have multiple files. For example, if I want to click on this text file.txt, it is downloading one file. Now, when I work with normal browser, by default, it goes to download directory. Then I have to go to download directory, verify and everything. What we will do, we will download any file using Playwright, we'll dump into a specific folder and then we'll verify everything. Now Playwright also supports direct download. So if you come to this download section, again, I will be giving you a link in the description. Now I want you to read this documentation, very, very important and very interesting documentation. It says for every attachment downloaded by page, page.own download event is emitted and all these attachments are downloaded in a temporary folder. So right now when I do download manually, it goes to my download folder, right? But when we download using Playwright, it goes to a temporary folder, which I will show you again using code. And you can obtain the download URL, file name and the payload stream using download object from the event. So I will show you this, that we need to call one method called wait for download. And once the file will be downloaded, you will be getting a download object. Again, remember, Downloaded files are deleted when the browser contacts that produce them in close. So we will save this to a particular directory so that we should be able to recover these files and we should be able to verify. You can also use download.save as. So once the file is downloaded, you can provide the path because right now it is in a temporary directory. You want to keep in a specific directory so you can get the path and the suggested file name. Let me show you this in Eclipse so that you can try. To save some time, I already have created one class called file download. We are, invoking, uh, we are invoking a Chrome browser, creating a new page and we are navigating to this page. For example, I want to download one sample text file. Okay. Uh, so let's say I want to download this test file.txt. If I write one quick XPath that find hyperlink, it's a hyperlink, right? So double slash A and I will say find using a text sample.txt and you can also verify using selector serve. So the moment you identify you can see it's highlighting and if I click on it and if I open this file this file have a random text. You can also verify what is the text here. See now understand one important part. Right now I am downloading a text file so I can directly read the text file and I can verify. But assume you are downloading a PDF file, CSV file, Excel file, JSON file, YAML file, doesn't matter. You need to understand how to read that file and then you can verify. Reading a text file is straightforward, which I will show you, but depends on what kind of file which is getting downloaded. Once you get the file, use the respective library. For example, if you're reading Excel, you might have to use Apache POI. If you're reading PDF, then you have to use PDF box. If you're using JSON file, you have to use object mapper or you can use JSON path. So the multiple ways to read files, I'm going to use the text file because what we are downloading. But once you're comfortable with file downloading, it's up to you what kind of file you want to read. So let's go ahead, copy this. Now before we click on it, we have to use one method called wait for download. Because right now, the moment I click on that uh, file, it might take a couple of seconds to download, right? So we have to wait until the wait file is not downloading properly. So interestingly, we have this method. So if you type wait for download, you can see it is asking you a callback function, which is runnable. Perform action and wait for the new download. So I will use one arrow function, pair of parentheses, hyphen arrow, curly bracket open and close. And within this, now I need to click on that file. So make sure you click or do any activity which creates a file or which downloads the file. So that step should come within this. 
in our case we have used the text path right so what we are doing we are clicking on this file the moment you click on this file download will start and once the download will complete you will get the object of download sorry you will get reference of download interface which is coming from com.microsoft.playwright so i will store this in a download reference variable now let me show you that if i want to get the file name if i type download dot suggested file name and if i type download dot url okay i want to see where exactly my file is getting downloaded and what is the name execute run as your application starting it will download it will click on this file and you can see the file name is textfile.txt and it is downloading from this url right i also want to check the path so i will call download.path execute one more time it's going to start it will start the download and this is what i want to show you it is going to a temporary folder and as we have seen the documentation that once the page will close it will automatically delete this file so we have to copy this file from this particular temporary directory to our local workspace so in this case what i will do i will go ahead okay, let me close others i'm going to create a new folder so this is my project root directory i am going to create a new folder called download files and i want to tell playwright that instead of uh, deleting it save my file to this particular directory let me rename this it should be download files let me copy this so for this what i will do again I'm going to create a path because I want to create a path where I will be dumping all this file. So I will create path. First of all, I will take current working directory. So I'm going to use one predefined property called user.dir. The moment I say system.get property user.dir, I will be getting the project root directory. In our case, it should return as this path user Mukesh Otwani playwright java which is a project plus now i want to go to this folder this folder we created manually that first get the path then go to download files and now i also want to check the file name so we have copied right this one download dot suggest file name so eventually this complete string that we created system dot get property download files this will give me the exact path where we have to save our downloads. If you want to print, you can print that download path would be path string. This path string is not making any sense. So let me just keep this download path. Same thing. I will use it here. This all are not required. This is just to show you. I can comment this. Let me comment. We are almost done. Once you get the part, just type download dot. You can use call save as. I want to save this, right? Just like when we download file, we say save as this. Same thing is happening here. Now it is asking you path. So you can say paths dot get and you can pass this download path. Now let's execute and see whether it's downloading in this particular folder or not. Run as Java application. It started it's opening downloaded the file and you can see it has given me the proper path. The download path would be user Mukesh Utwani workspace playwright java then our folder that we created and the file name should be text file dot txt so if i go ahead and refresh 
you can see file is available in our download directory now you can do a lot of assertions once the file is in the download files you can check the extension you can check the size you can check the content and everything that we are going to do now one by one i will also add page dot close because every time we have to you know close this and browser dot close you can just directly say browser dot close so verification number one i need to check the file extension if i'm downloading a pdf it will should end with dot pdf if i'm downloading excel file it should be dot xlsx so i will write if condition this is the path right so we have given this path so download path dot it should ends with dot txt if this download path so if download is happening properly we will get the proper name if that is getting end with txt we are going to write file extension verified by any chance if it is coming to else block we are going to say file extension verification failed now there's a small catch suppose you don't want to continue now because let's say I have three assertions and the first assertion itself is getting filled I don't want to continue with the remaining two assertion so you can close this here itself browser.close and just type return that's all so what it will do if extension is not valid it will immediately terminate the program to show you this first I will do a happy scenario execute this started it will download the file yeah file extension verified and now I'm looking for PDF not txt this is a purposefully I'm changing so that I can show you the negative scenario and let's see how it behaves this time file downloaded and it got failed right so it is closing the browser and the moment is written it's not like going to execute the further statements so this is assertion number one the second assertion I want to see the file size it should not be empty so I'm going to check the size so for this we will write if we have a dedicated class called files class okay and here we have a method called size now it says I need to provide uh, the path class reference so I will say path dot off and this is the download path right so I will pass this now this will return me the size so I will check if it is greater than 0 then our verification pass so again I will put file size verified if not I will come to else and I will say file size not verified Actually, I need to make some changes here verified not verified again I will close the browser and return this is the second assertion a third assertion would be checking the file content chances are very high that you got some name you also got the file size but the file does not have the valid data or it is not having the data that you're expecting so it is your responsibility to check the file content too in that case again I'm going to use uh, files dot read stream the it should be read string okay yeah this one it, it will again ask you give me the path so we'll use path dot off and we need to provide this path download path this will return you the data in a string format so I will say data from file before we execute I will quickly print system dot out dot print ln and I will print data from file now let's execute this run as the application started 
it's going to download the file and here we go it says downloaded file directory extension verified sites verified and this is the complete text if you open this text file and this this exactly same depends on your test case if you want to verify the complete text you can verify the complete text for me the assertion would be if i'm getting this first one what is this if my file contains this we can verify so instead of printing we'll put again if the data from file contains this then i will call file content verified and by any chance if it is coming to else i will repeat the same thing i will close the browser first of all i will say file content not verified close the browser return and if everything goes fine at the end close the browser let's execute one more time before we end this video yeah almost done and verify correctly so if you want to give a uh, negative scenarios keep changing the extension keep changing the file start downloading empty file or maybe you can verify the different text so that you will get the negative scenario so little lengthy video but i hope you got enough idea how to download a file one thing that you need to remember always put the activities which will trigger the download before that you have to say page dot wait for download once this file is downloaded you will get download interface reference then you can get the suggested file name you can change the directory and to make the final changes you need to call save as method once the file is downloaded you can put all the assertions right now added three but it can be multiple assertions too so yeah so here we end with upload and download scenarios with play right please try this scenario let me know if you face any other issue i would happy to help in case if you're new to this channel then do support this channel share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care